All right, let's get started. So I want you to start with arm circles this morning. Arm circles back, we're going to move to upper body mobility first. So we've got a lot of conditioning work this morning. Um, so it's a little bit less cardiovascular, but lots of strength work. Heavy use of the bands today as well. Oh God. What hell are my arms are? Really good. Like when you're drinking something, wheat, you don't feel the need to drink much. There we go. And then arm circles back. And some more lighting. Hang on. That's better. Good. Big arm circles back. Well done. When you're doing these, try and keep your shoulders low. Well done. One more. And then grab your band. So we're going to do some band dislocations. That's taking the band over your head and then as low down over your back as you can. So if your mobility isn't brilliant, hold the band right at the end. If you find these really easy, then you can hold the band just a little bit closer in. As you do them, if you start to find them too gentle, just reduce the band a little bit. So what you should feel as you bring your arms over is a bit of a stretch in your armpit just in here. Watch what your lower back is doing as well. Make sure you're not arching it, so keep your bum tucked under. If you find that you're having to kind of do that, Hold the band as wide as you can, just pull it apart a little bit. You should be able to keep your arms straight. Good. Um, I'm paying quite a lot of attention to uh, upper back, chest, shoulders today. After a month of probably being hunched over, I think we all need it. Do a couple more. And then put your band down and kneel down. Again. Tuck your bum under, bracing your core, so pull your tummy towards your spine, put your hands behind your head and do some chest openers. So you're bringing your elbows in and out. I like this one, it's a little bit Barbara Windsor, this one. <laughs> While you're doing this, try not to let your shoulders hunch, so keep them dropped as low as you can. So I can feel this between my shoulder blades kind of across my shoulders, some really bad crunching noises coming. Do a couple more. And then drop onto all fours, cat to cow neck. So really arching your back up and then dipping and stretching your neck up like that. And then as you bring your tummy under, bring your navel up to your spine, so you're engaging your core as you tuck your bum under. Ooh. Keep going, do this for a little bit longer. Well done. Good, just do two more. And then you're going to do some child poses. Sorry to throw this one at you at the start of the session. So feet together and knees apart. You can take your hands a little bit further forward than normal. Drop down, then immediately come up and just waggle your hips from side to side a few times. Drop down, come up, and then waggle from side to side. This should feel really nice across the side of your hips. Just push from side to side as much as you can and then keep lowering down. So it's down to child pose, up, waddle from side to side, and then down, just keep moving. Try and think about your core as well, so don't let your core go, keep it embraced. Embraced, engaged, it is early. I didn't have any wine last night. This is gonna be a disaster today. One more. and then kneel up again. Good. One foot forward, hand down, and then go into thoracic rotations. 
looking at your hand if you can. Well done. One more, and then change sides. Oh. This is it's not <laughs> the range of movement is not as good as normal here this morning. Two more, and then roll onto your back. On your back, arms outstretched, palms down. Just do a few rolls from side to side. I'm just going to do about 10 of these to start off with. Try and keep your knees together and try and get your knees all the way over to the floor as you roll from side to side. That's good. Fat. And then I want you to increase the, the range of movement for this a little bit. So you're gonna cross one leg over the other. If you want to bring your head into your hands, you can, or you can keep them stretched out on the floor. And then you're going to roll your knee to the floor and then back to the center. So you're not rocking from side to side, you're just going in one direction. If you can, try and push your knee away from your body as you do this. Well done. You should feel it, hopefully, so around the outside of your hip a little bit. And then go the other way. So now I'm dipping my foot towards the floor. So I find this quite a lot harder. Good, do one more. And then change sides. So cross the other leg over. And then dip knee to floor, pushing your knee away from your body if you can. Lovely, well done. One more. And then foot to floor. Try and think about keeping your core braced as well while you're doing this. It should stop your back from arching off the floor too much. Okay, just do one more. And then slowly come up to stand. And then just give me a few more arm circles. So about 10 forward and about 10 back. Hopefully your shoulders feel a little bit looser than that first set we did. Good. And then back. Slightly less crunching now, that's good. <laughs> Some improvement. All right, then go to leg swings. So find something to hold on to. Forward and back leg swings. Nice and loose hip. Well done. Not outside today, Sally. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so grim out there today. Change sides. It's like peak January today, I feel. <laughs> Good. So a couple more and then we'll go into side to side. So whatever you're holding on to, try and keep your chest as tall as you can. Try not to bend in half. So if you can get a good swing out to the side as well as across your body. And then change sides. Couple more. And then we'll just finish off this mobility set with some hip openers. So put your hands on your hips, go through one leg and then the other. 
So I'm just moving my right leg first of all. Try and get your knee up and around as much as possible. If you're finding it difficult to balance, then do what I'm doing and just look at the floor. Don't look at yourself on camera, it's too awkward. <laughs> and then sticking with the same leg, go the other way. Core braced. And you should be feeling the leg that you're standing on is starting to wake up a little bit as you're balancing on it. One more. And then change legs. So knee up and around. That's harder. And then change direction. You're looking very stable though, well done. Good. One more and done. Right, we're going to do three conditioning sets, starting with lower body, then an upper body set, which has got lots of band work, including some new exercises, uh, and then a core set. And then we're gonna move into some squat practice and then a workout at the end. So first one, you're gonna to need to use a band for this first set, but not for the first exercise. So hip hikes, um, doing these on the floor, but if you have a step or a stair nearby you can use, then you'll get a bigger range of movement and it will make the exercise harder. So if you need to go off camera and do this and you can still hear me, that's fine. You're going to do a hip hike, both legs completely straight, pulling your leg up. So if you are standing on a step, imagine that my mat is a stair and I'm letting this leg that's moving drop down and come up. It's fine doing it on the floor, but if you can go to a step, then you'll get a bigger range of movement. So off you go, 30 seconds on each side. Making sure that both legs stay completely straight, keep your core braced, and you're gonna pull that leg up as high as you can, and then drop it back to the floor under control. I need a stopwatch. Keep going. And change sides. Good. So you should feel this in the side of your bum on the leg that you're not moving. Good. Good. Five seconds. Good, and then rest. Step backs, you know this one. Leaning forward, core braced. We're going to do 40 seconds on each leg. So keep that step back nice and light. Pushing your weight into the middle of the foot that you're standing on. Well done. So I want you to think about what your glutes are doing in this, for this step back. So if you find that one leg activates and starts to burn very quickly and the other one takes a bit longer. When we repeat this, I want you to do a bit more on the leg that takes longer to activate. So for me, it's my left leg, it takes forever. Three, two, one, change sides. Right leg, straight away. <laughs> well, I discovered yesterday, this is interesting, I had a sports muscle yesterday for a bit of a hurty knee, and my right quad is four centimeters bigger than my left. So I am, literally am more dominant on the right side of my body. Quite a surprise that was. So I'm gonna spend my life doing single leg squats now. 10 seconds. And change legs, no, don't change legs. That's the next set. Band walks. Double your band up, and it's going, this time, mid-calf. So not as high as normal. Can you see it all right? I'm stand here. Okay, so band at mid-calf height. You're gonna start off with crab walks. So get nice and low, really work on sticking your bum back, so push your bum back. Before you start moving, you should feel it starting to squeeze a little bit. 
<laughs> and then small steps from side to side. What's that? Wow, on quad difference. <laughs> Good. Keep going. So I'm just doing a few small steps, about four steps in each direction, keeping bum stuck out. So having the band lower, you should actually feel this in your quads a little bit more than normal, and that's fine. Oh, core braced. Starting to feel it? <laughs> yes, I can see some good facial expressions. All right, and then stop. Keep the band there, keep low, and I want you to walk your feet out and then walk your feet in. I need to start off my mat. So you're gonna walk out, walk in. So you're staying low and then walking your feet out and in, but keeping the band under tension all the time. Again, this should be more in your quads than in your bum, but you might feel it inside your bum as well. 15 seconds. Stay low. Keep your core braced. Five seconds. So if you can see my feet, they are really barely moving. It's just enough to get some more tension on the band. And done. Step out of the band. Thighs and around here, hopefully. And let's go back to hip hikes again. So if you want to make this more challenging and you haven't got a step you can use, you can hold weight for this set of hip hikes. So if you are using a weight, hold it to your chest. That'll just add a little bit more resistance. Okay, off you go. Well done. Good. So hopefully you can feel sides of your bum waking up a little bit more quickly this time. 10 seconds. Almost there, three, two, one. Change sides. Oh, I don't know about you, my legs are certainly feeling awake now. <laughs> well done. Ten seconds, and then step backs again. If you want to keep hold of that weight to increase the difficulty, you can do that. Three, two, one. Step backs. So if you are holding a weight, make sure you keep it tight to your chest. Keep your core really braced as well, because it'll put a little bit more pressure on your lower back if you're using the weight. So I'm, I'm going to do this basically for the whole time on my left leg. Now I want to try and build up my left quad. <laughs> Keep going, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, change sides. So if you can feel this in your lower back at all, and you're holding the weight, try it without the weight. Keep going. Last few seconds. Three, two, one. Weight down, grab your band. Band walks again, so it's going in the same place. Mid calf. Try and get a little bit lower. Try and get your bum down a bit more. Core braced, off we go. So again, it's just a few steps to the side. The band should feel even more awkward than normal around your calves, which will hopefully limit your step. You want to keep this step really small. Don't let your feet drag on the floor. Move as quickly or as slowly as you feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, 
How's that feeling? <laughs> Connie's face says it all. <laughs> Five seconds. Two, one, and then stay low. Shuffle your feet. So it's walking the feet in and out. So all I'm doing is kind of one, two, three out, two, three in. Keeping it low. Core brace really hard to really pull your tummy in towards your spine. Can you start to feel it low down the insides of your legs a little bit? Good. <laughs> Five seconds. Two, one, done. Right, that's that over. Have a drink. Next set is upper body. There's a few of these that could potentially aggravate backs. I'll give you modifications. All right. We're going to start with one that you are familiar with, which is a seated row. This is why I had to get you to get shoes on today. So you're going to have the band over your feet for a couple of exercises. I don't want any bands flying off, hitting you in the face. That would be pretty bad. So sit down, band over your feet. For this first set, keep it easy. There's a few of the exercises that are going to, get your, are going to challenge your, upper, your arms. So don't stress yourself too much with this first one. So just loop the band over your feet once. Nice tall chest, shoulders back, core brace. And do an easy row. Think of this first one as an activation exercise. Your arms should not be fatigued. So I want to think about your hand position. Turn your palms up doing this. It will help keep your arms tighter to your sides. So I've got my palms, well, my fists really pointing up towards the ceiling. And it's really gentle, so I'm not putting any strain on my arms at all. 15 more seconds. Keep going. Okay, now. Keep the band as it is, and I want you to hold on to the band like that. You're gonna bring your arms straight up and bring the band up. I'm gonna show you from the front as well. So it's a Y movement. So you really want to make sure the band, I'm a little bit worried that's not the end, okay. You don't want this band popping off your feet, basically. So there's tension on the band all the time. Arms must stay straight, don't bend your elbows. If that limits your range of movement, that's fine. If you only move it a tiny way, that's okay. Just make sure you keep your band straight. Potentially, this could tug your lower back. Be really careful to keep your core braced. Pull your tummy in towards your spine as hard as you can. So this exercise is for your latissimus dorsi. So you should hopefully feel it about here. So in your back, a bit lower down. You must keep your arms straight. Well done. Five more seconds. Probably starting to tire a bit now. Good, I'm done. Right, up you get. Verity, I've been thinking about triceps and, and you. <laughs> what can we do? So I found this one. I didn't invent this one, I found it. So you need to stand in the band. Hang on. <laughs> like that. <laughs> so you're standing on the band, but the band is behind your body. Let me show you, first of all, I'll show you from a few angles and you can do it. Again, back protection. Make sure that your tail is tucked under and you're going to do a tricep kickback. Like that. Let me show you from the back. So it's a small pulsing movement back. And when I practiced this last night, my triceps started burning pretty quickly. 
So you want to make sure you're taking your arms straight back, not out to the side. Can you feel it in your triceps already? Ooh. 10 seconds. So as your arms tire, your lower back will want to arch. Really work on keeping it in. This can be a tiny movement. So like that last exercise, you must keep your arms straight. Good, and then rest. Oh, that does burn. <laughs> so for the second time we do this in a moment, there is another option you can do, and you can do this in a, um, a deadlift position. So you can pitch yourself forward and bring your arms upward. That's gonna make it a lot harder. <sighs> it's a lot harder. If you can't control your lower back, so if you're unhappy about back in that position, just keep standing tall. Right, back to the rows. So for the second set, you can make it harder. Loop the bands over. So I've got it doubled up now. Off you go. Each of these exercises should be hitting your upper body in a different place. So these rows should be across your upper back, maybe in your chest as well. Keep going. So really try and activate your upper back. When you pull this band back, think about squeezing a tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Well done. <clears throat> Good. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and then done. So unhook one side of the band, arms straight again, make sure that band's secure around your feet, and then bring the band up. So again, be really careful to keep your arms straight. It's a really good exercise if you like swimming. Okay. So everyone's got 10 more seconds. If you feel you can keep going a little bit longer, you can do another 10 seconds on top of that, but you're probably fatiguing now. So rest if you need to. If you can do 10 more seconds, keep going. Two, one. Done, and then up you get the triceps again. Step into the band, standing on the front of it. So if you want to try and challenge yourself a bit more for the second set, then pitch forward, bum stack out, core engaged, and do it like that. It's a lot harder because you're lifting up, not back. If you're worried about your back, keep standing up. Make sure you keep your arms completely straight though. If you bend them, you won't get it in your triceps. Don't worry if you're barely moving. Even a couple of inches makes this really challenging. There it is, let's get in the right spot. Thank <laughs> I know how much you miss the TRX. Five seconds. Two. One, done. Whew. Right, tell me how much you can feel that one later, because if that's a good one, it's the first time we've done it, I can uh, use that more often. Okay, core stability. So we've got two exercises using the band again. It's a band heavy session today. First one, I basically invented this last night, just so I could make you all look ridiculous. So the band is gonna go over your feet, doubled up. Watch me carefully. I'll do this from a couple of angles. And you're lying back. So the band's around your feet, lying on your back, and then you pull the bands down. So you need to keep your arms and elbows in contact with the floor. And you're going to do a leg press. Like that. Now, if you don't wanna challenge your core or you're protecting your back, keep your legs straight up. If you want to make this more challenging for your core, lower your legs down. 
There's a lot going on with this. Your arms will be working to help anchor the band to the floor. So you've got that constant tension on the band that's gonna challenge your upper body. Your legs as you press the band and your core as you support your back. So have a little practice. Right, off you go. I'm gonna watch this. If you've got socks on, be careful the band doesn't slip. There's a potential for facial injury here. And you've all got lovely faces. So things to watch out for, your arms must stay in contact with the floor. Lower back must stay in contact with the floor as well. So if dropping your legs down brings your back off the ground, bring your legs up. <coughs> looks good though. That looks amazing for me, look at these feet, it's brilliant. <laughs> Do two more. Good, and rest. Could you feel that? Did you enjoy, I like that one. Could you feel it in your tummy? Yeah. All right, rest. Catherine, when you said arms need to stay to the floor, flat to the floor, can you bend at the elbows? Bend at the elbows. Do you want to watch me again? Yeah. So, Thank you. That's all right. It's a new one. So when you pull back, can you see my elbows are on the floor? Can you see that? Basically, you don't want to let your arms come up. You need to keep that tension all the time and that will help your back as well. Cool. Right. Thank then, you. That's all right. We haven't done these are new exercises, so ask away. Right, the next one is a torso rotation. So the band's going to come behind you like that and you're going to pull the bands tight. Okay, so you're doing that. Lean back and you're doing a torso rotation. So this actually should support you and make the torso rotation almost feel a bit easier. And that's the idea. So this band is gonna help support your lower back. So potentially you can lean back a bit further and challenge your tummy more without your lower back kicking in. So I've got my fist pointing down, like I'm punching forward, leaning back and then rotating from side to side. If that doesn't feel challenging enough for some stupid reason, <laughs> You can bring your feet off the ground, but you shouldn't need to. So this band is going to give you some support so that you can rotate from side to side, keeping your arms straight. So if you imagine you've got like a point between your hands, keep staring at that point. You want to keep your spine neutral as you rotate. That's good, well done. Make sure you keep your arms straight, try not to bend them. You want completely straight arms that will challenge your upper body as well. If you've got a very high resistance band on, you might find this more challenging. Good, and then rest. Fab, well done. Next one, no band. Bear crawl, hooray! <laughs> so into bear crawl, and you're going to do a leg extension behind you. Like that. Keeping your knees close to the floor. Imagine you're balancing a glass of Prosecco across your back. And I'm talking one of those coupe, coupe glasses as well. You know the shallow old fashioned Prosecco glasses that spill easily. You've got one of those across your back. Do not let a drop spill. Well, remarkably, that's a really good cue because all of you have stopped moving your backs now. <laughs> so it's knees close to the floor, little tap back, 10 more seconds. Lovely, well done. Good, three, two, one, and done. Excellent, right, we're gonna repeat the leg press. So onto your back. If you're still not entirely sure, Watch me do a few reps before we start. So you've got bands over your feet. Arms on the floor. Off you go, 45 seconds. So if you found it comfortable, for the first set, try lowering your legs towards the floor. Try and keep your upper back down on the floor as well, so your whole back. 
from shoulders down to your spine is in contact with the floor all the time. And as you extend your legs, really push your tummy down towards your spine. Well done. 15 seconds. Good, nice pace. Three, two, one, lovely. Okay, take the band behind your back again, torso rotations. So the band is kind of at bra strap height or just a bit higher. <laughs> okay, off you go. Lean back as much as you can comfortably. Well done. Good. Ten seconds. Pete, you're back okay doing this one. Eight. Three, two, one, and then bear crawl. So remember. Prosecco or even a martini, an espresso martini now. You've got an espresso martini across your back. Do not spill any. Keep your knees close to the ground. Tummy pulled up to spine. Lovely, well done. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Good. Right. Um, please let me know if you enjoyed the new exercises, because we'll do more of them if you did. I can definitely feel my triceps. They've woken up. Oh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Ace. Okay. Um, we haven't done much squatting recently, and I know that some of you have got knee issues, so I'm going to give you options to do if you don't want to squat today. But we're going to do a bit of squat practice before we do squats in our final workout. So if you've got something you can hang on to, I have a handy frame here. I want you to hang on to something to try and get as low as you can in a squat. So a chair, a work surface, a partner if you're training with somebody, and lower yourself down into a really low squat. So if you hang on to something, you can keep your chest up, keep your bum down. If you can't find anything, then you can do this without assistance. You can just try and drop down, get your elbows inside your knees and support yourself that way. What I want is your bum really close to the floor, chest up, and a bit of a stretch across the insides of your hips, insides of your thighs. So if you've got a partner, use your partner. That's it. So if you're working in a pair, just pull against each other. You're not coming up out as you're going to stay down. That's it. So if you are able to hang on to something, human being included, I want you to just rock from side to side a little bit now. This is more difficult if you haven't got support. Good. And then come up out of that. Next one, stand in a wide squat. So Sophie, that first one should be okay for your knees, but if this gets challenging, Lynn as well, um, I want you to do some bridge roll down instead. So to get into bridge, hips up and roll your back down. If it hurts your knees, don't do it. Next one is a sumo squat. So you're going to stand in this wide leg position, drop your hands to the floor, keeping your legs as straight as you can, then drop down into a squat, then bring your hands off the floor and then stand. So it's down to the floor, drop into the squat, keeping your fingers down, release your hands, get your chest up and stand up. If it hurts your knees, don't do this, do bridges instead. So your option is to do a bridge, pushing your hips up and then rolling your back down to the ground. 
The sumo position does offer a little bit of protection for your knees, but don't push it. Five more of these. So the idea of this type of squat mobility exercise is to open up your hips a little bit and get your body used to squatting with a nice tall chest. Two more. If this feels challenging, that's fine, it is. <laughs> and then stand up. Brilliant, well done. Right, next one. Just some normal squats now for a minute. So um, Sophie and Lynn, do deadlifts instead if you want to, rather than squatting. So feet in normal squat position now. Slightly wider than shoulder width. Feet turned out slightly, five to one. Just hold your arms to your chest, drop down, and then bring your arms down as you stand up. That will just help with that final bit of hip extension. And we're going to do this for one minute. So because I do also have a dodgy knee, I'm only going to do a couple more of these and I'm going to stop. Although I should be doing these on one leg. <laughs> Good, right, I'm going to start doing some deadlifts now. Just that way, just hinging my hips down. It's grim outside. Twenty seconds. Keep going. I'm just gonna watch you. So really think about your chest height. Are you struggling to keep your chest high at the bottom of this squat, or do you feel yourself tipping forward and coming onto your toes? Are you struggling to keep your heels down when you squat? Just think about those things. Well done. Good. And done. So I'm going to give you two further mobilization exercises. First one is a thoracic rotation in a squat position. We have done this in circuit training. So you drop down to squat like that, hands on the floor, doesn't matter how, how low or high you are, and you're going to rotate from side to side, holding that squat position. So you'll get quite a good leg burn out of this. This is just to help with chest height on the squat. Off you go. So you stay down. Look at your hand as you go. One more on each side. Good. And the next one we're going to do, the last one, is called a stripper squat. <laughs> You'll see why. So basically, Drop down to a squat, bring your bum up, stand up. Drop down, bring your bum up, stand up. It's quite a quick movement. You're dropping down, hands to the floor, straightening your legs, standing up. So this is to mobilize hamstrings. I don't know wrong. <laughs> there we go. So it's kind of the opposite of what we're doing with that sumo squat earlier on. So you're dropping into the squat, hands to the floor, straighten your legs, stand up. So I can really feel that in the backs of my legs. I like this one, this kind of feels nice. Two more. Good. Right, so quickly onto the main workout, I've got these cool down. Goblet squats, with a weight, 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest, then 30 seconds. Then you're gonna move on to the exercise, but I'll tell you as we go. So I'll give you rest in between each exercise. That's when I explain the exercises rather than just standing here for five minutes. So goblet squats, 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest, 30 seconds work. Get ready, two, one, off you go. Sophie and Lynn, deadlifts are your option if you're not happy squatting. Well done. So I'm going to coach you for this now. That's enough squats for me anyway. Well done. So think about what we've just worked on, chest height. I don't care about how low you go. I want to keep your chest as high as possible. And as you stand up out of the squat, really dig your heels down. Try and use the backs of your legs as much as possible. 10 seconds. 
three, two, one, 15 seconds rest. And then you're doing another 30 seconds. And you're using this formula for the whole workout. Okay, get ready. 30 seconds now, three, two, one, off you go, squats again. Don't worry, we've got a lower body exercise after this. Well done. They look really good. Good chest height, nice pace as well. It's a bit more awkward with the child, Charlotte, isn't it? <laughs> Keep going, 10 seconds. Then you get a rest while I demonstrate the next exercise. Three, two, one, done. Next one, straight arm plank, taking your knee across your body, but you're going to do one side, then the other. So bum nice and low. So you do one leg, then you'll do the other leg. And then you'll rest. So we're going to do 30 seconds on each leg for the first set, rest, then 20 seconds on each leg. It's a long time in straight arm plank. If it's dodgy for your wrists, I can give you an alternative exercise. All right, get ready. So it's one leg across your body for 30 seconds, then the other leg. Three, two, one, off you go. Keep your shoulders over your hands. Quick kick across your body and then slowly back down to the floor. Five seconds. Two, one, drop to your knees for a second. Then other leg, two, one, go. Game challenging. Five seconds. Three, two, one, down to your knees. Rest longer. Pete, your back all right doing this. You can do arms only dead bugs if it gets challenging. All right, get ready. Bit less on each leg this time. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you keep your weight over your hands, protect your shoulders. Three, two, one, drop to your knees for a second. Up again, go. Last few seconds. Two, one, done. Ooh. Right, band ready. Not quite done the band walks yet. Loop it into three, around your ankles. Straight leg band walks. 45 seconds, 15 seconds rest, 30 seconds. Keep your legs completely straight, torso upright. Put your hands across your tummy as a cue to keep your core engaged if you want to as well. Get ready, two, one, go. So if you're using a red band looped into three, your range of movement will be really small, but that won't matter because you'll still know about it. <sighs> like immediately. Down there. I think it's even more unpleasant with a band like this, you know, rather than a stretchy one. So think about protecting your back, keep your bum tucked under as much as you can. 15 seconds. Keep going. Try not to hunch my shoulders in pain now. Three, two, one, rest. So if like me, you found your shoulders rising to try and compensate, <laughs> keep them low. <laughs> All right, 30 seconds. Two, one, go. Oh, it's a bit worse this time. <laughs> oh, I do love this exercise. Think of the benefits. 10 seconds. Oh, 
almost there, shoulders down, <laughs> three, two, one, Ugh. right, step out of the band, and then stand on the band with one leg, so I've got my left foot forward, right leg back, resting on my toes, lean back slightly, and you're going to see some upright band rows, Sophie, sorry, you did these the other day. <laughs> so if you want to make them harder, just increase the resistance on the band. We're going for 30 seconds on each side. So when you're doing this, elbows high. And the more you lean back, the harder this will be as well. Well done. Or if you're using a green band, Nick. <laughs> it's quite a challenging one. <laughs> Five seconds. And then change sides. So other foot, step back. And you'll probably realise now this is not just an upper body exercise. Can you feel it in your legs as well? Keep your elbows up. So we're doing 30 seconds on each side, then we're resting and we'll do about 15 seconds on each side. Three, two, one, and rest. Just change your legs over again. Oops. All right, get ready. Off you go, 15 seconds on each leg. As you get tired, don't be tempted to let your elbows drop. Just keep them up, keep your back working. Change legs. Off you go. Well done. Three, two, one, done, good. And then the last one for this set, bear crawls again, but static. So you're going to do 20 seconds, rest, then 15 seconds. I'm not giving you too long for this one. Static bear crawl. Remember, you've got that martini glass balanced across your back. Do not spill any. Knees close to the ground. Bring your tummy up towards your spine. Get ready. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Almost there, and rest, just drop to your knees, 15 seconds, three, two, one, go. So we're going straight from this into a little finisher set just for a couple of minutes, using those exercises, but speeding everything up a little bit, and down, up you get. So you're going to do 30 seconds of everything, starting off with squats, you can use a weight or you can do it body weight, it's up to you. 30 seconds of squats, then you're going to go 30 seconds, alternate leg, taking that across your body quickly, and I'll tell you what we're doing from there. Right, get ready, squats. Three, two, one, go, 30 seconds. So you had a really lovely, slow, steady pace for that first set. You can speed it up a little bit now if you want to. Get your heart rate up for the last couple of minutes. 10 seconds. And then it's down into straight arm plank. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Weights down, down you go. Straight arm plank. Driving your knee across. Quick movement. Off you go. So really drive your knee towards the other elbow. Keep going. Nice, well done. Keep going. Three, two, one, up you get. No band, get into a low crap position. I just want you to do some quick shuffles, side to side. <laughs> So I'm on my toes a little bit, but staying low. Keep core engaged. 
I'm only doing this because it's amusing on camera. <laughs> Keep going. 10 seconds. And then from here, we're going to go into walkouts. Straight or bent leg. Three, two, one. Stand up at the edge of your mat. Walk into straight arm plank. And then walk up again. I am sticking to no burpee, January. <laughs> and January's nearly over. As you stand up out of this straight arm plank, try and push off with a different hand each time. Keep going. If this irritates your back, keep your knees more bent. Well done, keep going. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one, then walk out into bear crawl and hold that. 30 seconds and then we're done. Ugh. Keep your knees low. Brace your core. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Done. Well done. Perfect. Get a drink if you need it. Otherwise, straight into child's pose. Let's stretch. Well done this morning. We're not quite as cardiovascular today. I thought we could do a bit more strength training. We will do some of those exercises again next week. Now that we've done them once, I want to practice them. Oh, I've steamed up. That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, so from child pose, take your hands under your shoulders, push up into cat stretch. Really try and push against your upper back. And then from there into hip flexor. So take one leg forward, bring that foot out to the side ever so slightly so it's not directly in front. Bum tucked under and push forward. Keep your chest upright. So so if you feel a little bit of a stretch in your inner thighs as well. Good. And then just increase the stretch if you need to by walking your foot forward a little bit more. Tucking your bum under again and pushing forward. Well done. And then lean across. So I'm leaning my right arm over my left leg. Well done. And then change sides. So change legs. Foot out to the side slightly. Bum tucked under, push forward. Good. Keep your chest up for a little bit longer. Increase the stretch if you need to. And then reach across. Well done. And then a quad stretch. So either kneeling or standing. If you need a deeper stretch, try and do it in kneeling position. However you're doing it, make sure you're not letting your back arch, chest up. So if you're doing a kneeling stretch, you can try leaning. Oh, no, that'll do it. Try leaning forward a little bit. Ouch. Good. And then release, change sides. I've got some cracking bruises on my thigh from my lovely sports massage yesterday. It's not a pleasant experience, is it? <laughs> you tell me having a massage, 
what a nice thing. <laughs> so if you're kneeling, try leaning forward a little bit. Good, and then release, stand up. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, just slowly roll down, drop down. And then take a deep breath in, exhale. Let yourself drop down a little bit more. Breathe in, exhale. And then do one more, breathe in, exhale. Bend your knees if you need to and slowly roll up. Stretch up nice and tall. And done. Well done this morning. Thank you for indulging me with my new exercises. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. I love the new exercises. Yay. <laughs> Baffling. I am uh, telling you what's up last night, we're doing them. <laughs> I, I think the, the best part of this is that everybody had their own band and there was the most enormous band fight going <laughs> where one twin pulled the band right across the room with the other one holding on and then they let go halfway through it. Oh my god. And then he moved to the stairs. You need to get one of, you need to get one of these ones, Charlotte. There's a lot of tension on that. They can pull themselves away a, a long way. <laughs> they go flying. Is it particularly good for doing uh, resistance runs? Right. But just put it around the twin and then make it run while you hold. <laughs> <laughs> Highly recommended. Can you send a link for that one, Catherine? Because I don't think mine are resistant enough. Um, so when you get that one, um, there should, if you can go back to your previous order, most of these companies have different distances, so you should be able to get them. So the next one up is a, a black one usually, and then there's a purple, and then the green, and then blue. But yeah, if you want a slightly more resistant one, get a black one. Okay. That's Thank you, nice, Catherine. Well done. Okay. Um, Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a lovely day. Hey, Rosie. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Lynn. Hello. Jane. Stay online. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to stop. Let's stop recording.